North Korea has been using its rigid state TV as propaganda for its people and the outside world for a long time, from videos of domestic production to sleek videos of missile launches. Joining us now to discuss, we have Bloomberg's East Asia government editor, John Herskovitz in Tokyo, and Rachel Mingyang Lee, a North Korea analyst based in Seoul. First, Rachel, tell us what kind of materials we normally see on North Korean state TV. It's a wide range of propaganda material that we see on North Korean TV. If we were to talk about specifically about leadership propaganda, um, it would fall into three categories generally, news reports, films, or documentaries about Kim Jong-un or his predecessor, Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. The programming is all towards one message of solidifying the leadership of the Kim regime. <laughs> there isn't much choice. So you have state TV and that's it. Um, you don't get a lot of Netflix in North Korea. Right, not much binging. So let's talk about its coverage of the recent missile launch on March 24th that used feature film style editing. What do we see? What's unusual about this one, John? North Korea put together this very stylized video. People were talking about elements of Top Gun, Bollywood type of edits. I think that this was done to compensate or to dispel rumors of what went on and show a success. Rachel, what, what did you take away from that video? What did you see in that? Um, in the past, what we used to see is uh, basically news reports on Kim. And, and the way those would be presented um, is that an, an announcer would be seated in a news studio um, reading the news report um, for about maybe 20 to 30 seconds um, to maybe about a minute. And then it cuts into the photos or video that North Korea TV wants to show. North Korea's latest ICBM test coverage was significant. North Korea had never put together a program like that, especially regarding a Kim leader. I mean, that was so progressive, so un-North Korean. So looking back over the past several years, what are some of the noticeable changes in its programming and broadcast style just in general? A few years ago, I think the quality of the, the broadcasting went up into a higher definition. And with that came better sets, better studios, use of computer graphics, and other things as well, like putting reporters in the field to report on typhoons. You have these elements that are coming in from abroad and making this very staid, static broadcast of news much more dynamic than it has been. John, I agree with everything you said. Um, we're talking about changes as small as bringing in a whole new generation of announcers to bigger changes like showing more video in the international um, segment um, in the newscast. So going forward then, will we see more of this, this image conscious version of Kim and an emphasis on high quality production? I think we will continue to see North Korean propaganda strategy in general um, evolving. In terms of whether we will see another uh, movie-type program um, on Kim Jong-un's uh, public activity, I'm not sure. I think we might, we may not. It depends, I think, also on the feedback from the leadership circle um, regarding the, the latest ICBM test coverage. As Rachel said, getting the message and the approval through the leadership circle is difficult. Then you have a lot of very old people in North Korea's upper echelon. It's it's inevitable for it to evolve, but again, there's only no limits to how far it can go. And North Korea is also very conscious as to what it releases to the outside world. 